Greetings, people of Earth. Welcome back. My name is Jax, and this is Lily. Um, she is tired, so she's probably just gonna chill. She might disappear, but um, today we are talking. Sorry, the lights like aggressive. Today we are talking about blocking people and just moving on with your life. Essentially, um, I think today's world you know there are a lot of people that say like social media is so bad technology is ruining us our attention spans are seven seconds long you know they say all of these things about social media and technology and all these things and they're very disparaging one very clear benefit of the whole social media technology phones all of that is that it has never been easier to get rid of people in your life it has never been easier to just completely remove the toxic people and allow yourself just that peace, you know? Um, <clears throat> and you can do it with family, you can do it with friends, you can do it with enemies, you can do it with exes, you can do it with almost anybody. And all it takes is the resolve and the willpower to just block people completely um, and to not re-add them because that can be a big problem, which we will talk about in a bit. But Essentially, deciding whether or not somebody should just exit your life at the click of a button, it can be a difficult decision. Um, I, th I believe like you give people a certain amount of chances to sort of like redeem themselves, earn your trust, that kind of thing. Um, and so like you can definitely, you can definitely be lenient and be kind with people and not just like block them out of the blue, you know? But there does come a time and a point where you just gotta block them. You just gotta get rid of them. And it can be a toxic friendship. It can be, you know, a relationship with a, a family member, extended family member, or your immediate family member. And it's just better for your mental health. It's better for your well-being. Maybe it's even better for their well-being that these people are ejected from your life by just blocking them and not having to deal with that kind of garbage again. Um, <clears throat> now, I, I don't necessarily advocate like ghosting people when you're you know, starting a relationship with them or something. Like if you just block somebody because of that kind of vanity or... Um, you're blocking them because of something you've done on your side, not necessarily on their side. Because like, I don't know, it's not really fair. Um, personally, like in my, in my like dating style or whatever, I would rather be blocked than um, have somebody string me along or have somebody um, sort of sit me down and say like, hey, like uh, this isn't going to work, blah, blah. Like I'm like, just block me. Just you know, I will, I will take the hint. Um, I don't need to know what's wrong with me or what your insecurity is. Just get out of my life and allow me to move on. Um, but I, I think I am the exception, not the general feeling. I think most people do not want to be blocked without a reason or without explanation. Um, but that's another thing where you get to choose the people and, and I'm stepping away from dating now. I, I, sort of going back and forth between it. But you get to choose essentially if you want to explain yourself to the person first or if you just want to out of the blue block them. And again, it depends on the situation. It depends on the relationship and the type of sort of connection that you had with this person. But sometimes it can be good to say, hey, I'm sorry, but this is not working for me. Um, I hope you know, hopefully no hard feelings, but goodbye. And then you block them. Like you don't, you don't have to even give them the chance to respond. You can just say goodbye and go. Um, in certain situations, maybe you do want a little bit of back and forth communication before the actual blocking happens. So maybe you send them a note saying, hey, uh, I just wanted to let you know, like this isn't working for me. I'm sorry, but you know, this situation is just not acceptable to me anymore. And then they can respond and you can kind of maybe answer a few of their questions if they have them and that kind of thing. And then you just block. 
but it really does depend on your preference, on what you're comfortable with, because at the end of the day, like it's your life. And so you're allowed to be very greedy and self-interested in your life. You know, you don't have to answer anybody's questions. You do not have to um, accommodate people's wants and interests. Like it's your life, you get to choose. And being a little bit self-interested in this particular case, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you know that this person is no good for you and you're no good for them, there should not be any shame or weirdness when it comes to just saying, we're done, I'm sorry, but goodbye, like this is it, we're over, end of story. And you know, that, that kind of thing is very therapeutic, it's very freeing and powerful because you can have this toxic relationship with this person and you could be spending you know, a lot of your time every single day thinking about this situation or trying to figure it out and then you just block them and suddenly you're free. You know, that time that you spend, no longer spent on that person. It's spent on doing good things for yourself. It's spent on doing good things for other people. Um, and so there really isn't any moral obligation to be compassionate with these people. If you choose to be compassionate, that's your prerogative. You know, I'm, I'm always gonna advocate for being compassionate to everybody you can. However, you do not have to extend that courtesy to anybody you don't want to. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that's like a very important sort of topic. And I think not enough people are, I, I think people worry a lot about the repercussions of blocking somebody. You worry that you're going to run into somebody or you're going to run into them um, or you're going to encounter them in another situation and it's going to be really awkward. And like it might, but honestly, if your life improves by not having this person in your life, be selfish. Like who cares? You know, um, hopefully you live in a place where you don't have to encounter people you don't want to. And hopefully you have enough independence that you're not relying on anybody and so that you're not put in situations that, you know, you're uncomfortable with. I think like as a, as a young preteen before I could drive, I was often put in situations because of my friends or my family. I was put in situations like family gatherings or whatever that I really didn't want to be in, but I had no choice, I had no independence, I had no autonomy. And that was really frustrating. Like as a as a kid and as a young young person, that was really frustrating to not have the autonomy to say like, oh, I don't have to see you ever. Um, but now I'm a fully actualized, somewhat functioning adult. And so I do not have to put myself in situations that I find intolerable. I don't have to put myself in situations that I find abhorrent or I do not have to surround myself in people who are not positive, people who bring me down, people who make me feel bad, people who you know, make others feel bad. I don't have to hang out with those people and I get to choose the people that come into my life and I really hope that you are able to, even, even to some extent, I mean, you might be 14 years old and not able to move around in your environment freely, but that independence is coming and you will have that ability to pick and choose exactly who you want to be in your sphere. And I've said this a lot, like family does not have to be the blood uh, relatives. It doesn't have to be, you know, those people. You get to choose who you want to be in your family and who you love and care about. And if those people reciprocate that, then those are your family. You don't have to uh, tolerate fools and you know villains in your life and so that's one of the reasons why I think the block button is such an incredibly powerful tool and you just block people you know and it you don't even have to have a very strong opinion or feelings about specific people but you know you might you might have added someone on snapchat or whatever on Instagram that you very quickly realize this person is not for you, this person is a negative person, this person is not productive in your life, block them, just block them. You do not have to tolerate that. And who knows, maybe you, maybe you generate a bit of a reputation for you know, not tolerating that kind of stuff. And so then that, that reputation 
protects you a little bit more because the people that know that you won't get along with them will just steer clear of you. And so then you don't even have to do anything. You're immediately protected from these people just by your reputation that you don't tolerate these, these negative people. You know, I'm somebody who really has a hard time with people who just talk negatively and who talk, you know, even disparagingly about celebrities they've never met or, you know, things like that. I just, I, I would rather talk about different things. I would rather talk about like morality and the the fate of humans on this planet. Like I would rather talk about deep philosophical or, you know, interesting things than disparage or gossip or talk about, you know, the latest celebrity trend. Like I really don't care. And I find it difficult to be around people who really care about those things. And so I just block, you know, sometimes I will send a message saying, hey, you know, thanks, thanks for the first date. Thanks for hanging out with me. But, you know, I really don't think we're compatible. I don't think this is good. Bye. And I don't need to let them respond. You know, I don't, I don't need that conversation to continue. I'm good. I'm done. I'm moving on. So I don't know, guys, I was just thinking about it today. Um, and how often I just block, I just, you know, out of my life, goodbye. And there is really nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm going to quickly touch on the whole unblocking thing because it, it's definitely an issue that some people face. I don't really face this problem. I have very rarely unblocked somebody. Um, the only cases where I have unblocked somebody, I have regretted it and then I've blocked them again. So I really tend not to unblock people. However, there is a time and place. Um, I would really advocate that you you think long and hard before unblocking somebody because if you have blocked somebody, you have made the conscious decision that this person is not good and I do not want to continue my relationship with this person. You've made that decision. And so to unblock them is to sort of second guess yourself and to say, oh, well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was too quick in my judgment, maybe whatever. When in fact, you were probably right the first time. Like, don't be afraid to trust your instincts and to say, you know what, this, this ain't working for me. Um, so before you unblock somebody, really think about it. It also, when you unblock somebody, you're sort of creating this um, uncertainty and you create this idea that you know, you really don't know what you want because the person who gets unblocked will see it and go, oh, like they changed their mind or whatever, or maybe you message them. And um, it, it's just, I don't know, it gives, it gives me the idea that like the person, like if you unblocked me and then blocked me and unblocked me, I just get this impression that you're a little neurotic and you're a bit crazy, you don't know what you want. Um, it's really not a good look, you know? It's, it's not a good look to just unblock somebody because you're, you know, attracted to them or whatever. Um, there's really no good excuse for it. You just have to sort of maintain, um, maintain what you're trying to do. Right, Lily? What? What do you think? Hey? Yeah, you like the ear scratches, don't you? Um, but yeah, guys, so that's my thoughts on blocking and I really do advocate for just blocking people, you know? If they're no good for you, you're no good for them. Just make the world a better place and get them gone. Um, maybe one day they'll understand. Maybe one day they'll thank you for just, you know, getting gone. Probably not, but who knows? Uh, stranger things happen every day. So let me know your thoughts. Um, I did a video like this a while ago, but I think I needed to reiterate it for myself and for everyone else. So Lily's done and so am I. Um, thank you guys for listening. And as always, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs>